Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day at Digital Now 2020. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Arj Devadas with ACGI Software, and our innovation series session today is transforming your credentialing program through automation and business intelligence. I'm joined here by Myron Spence, a co-presenter and director of technical sales at ACGI Software. Myron, how are you? All right, thanks, Arj, and welcome, everybody. Uh, how are you, Arj? I'm doing great. Thanks for uh, joining us today. So why not automate the credentialing programs? We're going to get back to the business of credentialing in just a moment. But automation has been around, as we all know, for decades in many industries, manufacturing, communications, transportation, marketing, entertainment. But no longer is automation only exclusive to the wealthiest of corporations. Today, automation can be found everywhere. Just take a look at your house. Our houses are getting smarter and smarter, and many of us are getting poorer and poorer buying new gizmos, gadgets, smart devices that are all accessible over the internet. With our busy schedules, automation has helped us be more productive, more consistent, and has given us peace of mind in our own personal lives. But the need to automate has always been part of our lives. True story, there was a profession once called a knocker up which started during and lasted well into the industrial revolution. When alarm clocks were neither cheap nor reliable, a knocker up's job was to wake up super early in the morning, go around with a very long stick and bang on your window so that you'd wake up and go to work on time. So obviously knocker uppers were replaced by alarm clocks, something that we take for granted. They're in our pockets, they are on our desks, they are on your wrist. Well, the same is true with the early century uh, switchboard operators that we now only see in classic movies. They were replaced by automated telephone switching systems. Or how about stop and pay toll booths? Those of you who live around the Washington, DC, Maryland, Virginia beltway like I do, you know how frustrating it is just to have to wait in line and pay your toll. Well, they're all but disappearing to make way for automated toll booths. Again, making our lives easier. And then more and more, we're seeing people taking their hands off the wheel and relying on self-driven vehicles. My point is as long as there are better, faster, cheaper ways to get things done, machines and technology, will continue to take the place of manual human effort. So enough of the stories from the past. We want to provide some takeaways today that inspire you. Today, our goals are to help you with, number one, you'll learn a bit about the business of credentialing if you don't know it already. The complexity, the technology, challenges that, that are faced by most credentialing organizations, We'll talk about the various tasks and internal processes that can often be complex. We'll explain how automation in the credentialing business can have a positive impact in generating more revenue, reducing administration and operating costs for associations and credentialing organizations. We'll help you understand how integrated systems and business intelligence tools can minimize workflows and provide greater visibility for better decision-making. And lastly, we wanna demonstrate how Certelligence can have a profound impact on professional education and cr the credentialing journey of your customers, certificates, members, especially in light of COVID-19. So Myron's gonna spend a little bit of time actually getting into Certelligence towards the end of our presentation today. So with this, let's get started. We meet a lot of organizations and see the term credentialing just used in so many different ways. So before we even get too deep into our presentation, perhaps it would be good to get on the same page, just pause and get on the same page with what we mean by credentialing. Like many credentialing organizations, ACGI looks to the ICE, the Institute of Credentialing Excellence, for guidance. Now the ICE states that credentialing is an umbrella term for accreditation and certification and assessment-based certification programs. 
So for today's purpose in our presentation, we will be referring to those top two, certification and accreditation, and accreditation, which most of you have at your organizations. So why is credentialing so important anyway? Well, can you imagine a world without credentialing professionals and programs? The most simplest explanation is that certifications and accreditations ensure a commitment to creating standards of excellence, assuring quality products, services, and education, and most importantly, protecting the public and keeping us all safe. With greater demand, education and credentialing programs have also been on the rise with submissions of applications more than quadrupling over the past decade. For associations like many of you joining us today, this growth in demand is creating opportunities for greater non-dues revenue streams. While peer credentialing organizations, that is those that don't have members, they have certificates or candidates, well, they're having to scale their business to keep up with the growing volume of demands and candidate applications. But what exactly is involved in the credentialing process and what can make it so complicated? To really appreciate what many organizations go through with managing their credentialing programs, I'd like to spend a little bit of time describing the many moving parts to managing and tracking what we call the credentialing journey. In this example of a certifying body with a certification program, candidates need to go through an assessment process to become certified. It all starts with the submission of the application Mostly online, the submissions process can require the upload of numerous documents, education transcripts, work experience, verification of employment, uh, narratives, and sample work product. Once all this information is submitted, there's typically a review process to review eligibility by a review committee or certification board to determine the candidate's eligibility. Lots of communication is typically taking place and information is being documented. When, if the candidate's application is approved, they will typically pay an exam fee. The certifying body will then provide the candidate with an authorization or a, an approval, or sometimes some people will say voucher code to schedule their exam with a testing center. So the candidate goes to the testing center and sits for the exam or takes the exam. They'll either pass, they will fail, the test results then and all the data is sent to back to the certifying body for their analysis. If the candidate passes, well, great, they are certified. If they fail, they may have to reapply again and retake the exam in a reasonable amount of time. So forgetting to, from the candidate submission itself, all the way to being certified or failing, well, that's a very long journey. But wait, there's a lot more to the process. Once certified, again, for that, the candidate who's now certificate, they are certified, certificate will likely be required to maintain and report their continuing education through professional development credits, which they received by uh, approved providers. They'll typically need to renew, reapply, or recertify maybe every two, three, five, we've met some organizations that go 10 years, they may even have to take their exam all over again. But the certificate will pay a renewal fee, and this is called maintenance of certification, this process here. So for credentialing management professionals, this process can be overwhelming. Uh, can you imagine all the administrative overhead, communication involved, and the data that has to move around throughout the credentialing journey. What's more, processes, workflows can be a moving target in themselves and change from year to year as eligibility requirements change, business rules change, fees change, the exam changes. How do organizations keep up with this demand and how do they manage all the aspects of the credentialing journey that we just talked about while remaining agile to adapt to changes in the future? They're using ACGI Certelligence. Certelligence is a cloud-based credentialing management system that helps organizations to centralize and manage your data and streamline processes through workflow automation. Also gaining visibility, 
valuable insight through business intelligence from assessment data to maintenance of credentials information to the operations and health of their credentialing programs. Also, Certelligence is an enterprise solution that brings together many areas of business for streamlined communication, smoother operation, and most importantly, the ability to provide an exceptional experience to your customers. Certelligence empowers your staff with a number of valuable features to manage candidate applications and maintenance of credentials to e-commerce for selling exams, prep materials, study guides, practice tests, really anything. And then billing and payment processing coupled with the finance and accounting integration features, event management for scheduling any virtual or live meetings and exams, e-marketing for automated communications and distribution emails, business intelligence for ad hoc reporting, psychometric data and analysis, and CRM for managing and tracking customers and providing good customer service. When ACGI implements their intelligence for customers, these features are configured for specific needs of each organization. Many organizations that don't use their intelligence are using and getting by with maybe their association management system or membership management system or a generic CRM system. The problem with those is they're going to spend a heck of a lot of time trying to build these features as customizations. We also meet a lot of organizations that work with old legacy systems and they've built them out of the necessity to manage your credentialing program. This is, of course, before we've had tools like Certelligence. But customizations are not the way to go today. They can be very expensive, unreliable, eventually unsupportable, and again, just very costly to maintain. With ACGI's workflow automation engine, organizations are able to significantly improve their efficiencies by accelerating processes. What this really means is that organizations can remove the administrative bottlenecks related to activities like data entry, manual tasks, while at the same time improving accuracy, integrity in their data processing. Certelligence allows organizations to set up their candidate applications online. Using ACGI's workflow automation engine, candidate submissions can be pre-screened, business rules can be implemented and applied, then the application can be distributed to a review committee. Submissions are assigned and wait in a queue for that review committee or that staff to log in to Certelligence while all the while, all this communications and confirmations are sent to the candidate with a status update and also next steps on what they can do. The reviewer has the ability to also contact that candidate if they need uh, to have more information or more questions that are answered or just need further information. In the workflow, the system can allow for automatic scoring candidates uh, applications, as well as any type of work that they've done. At this point, though, all this information that has been collected, exchanged, documented, all sits within the customer record to give you that 360-degree view of the process. Now, under the hood, Certelligence Workflow Automation Engine allows credentialing organizations to map out their processes, but also remain a living blueprint to make these changes as needs change in the future. This is referred to as configuration in the system. Instead of having to do customizations, all the administrator of the system at your organization is making setting changes. With the technology and best practices built into Certelligence, it enables the ability to automate processes and mimic human decision-making on administrative tasks. And let's not forget, more demand from candidates, certificates means more customer service is likely needed. How can organizations scale to support their constituents? Candidates and certificates can go online and have real-time self-service features through Certelligence to access the resources they need. So this is right through your website without having to initiate calls into the customer service department, candidates can find what they need right in the self-service portal. And Myron's gonna go and give you a, a taste of this in just a few minutes here. 
The candidates can access a number of things, the status of their credentials, access to test results, what progress are they making on their continuing education credits that are needed to renew their certification? Where can they find approved education providers to earn credits? Can they download their certificates and transcripts? Right in the self-service portal, they can. They can also purchase study materials. They can pay off past due invoices or simply change their address and profile information where they live. They can opt in and opt out of receiving specific emails from your organization. If integrated with other third-party systems, constituents can log in and have access to many other applications as well, like community portals, learning management systems, or testing platforms, as we mentioned earlier, or even a membership management system or a CRM, if you have one already at your organization. And as we know, staff have been confined to their homes and have had to adapt doing their jobs just working remotely. You know, the tragedy that we hear from all of our credentialing customers, management customers, are that exam centers are all empty. They're closed because of the pandemic, which is challenging. And credentialing organizations have to revisit or they've revisited their policies about traditional um, in-person exams. With closed testing centers, online proctored exams, they've become a normal part of these organizations today. Like other virtual technologies, Certelligence certainly has helped our customers to be able to work remotely because it is 100% web-based, all operated through the cloud. Your staff has complete access to administering and helping customers from the system over the web. Integration, again, makes it seamless to serve constituents. In light of COVID-19, our customers are still fully operational. So we'd like to share a case study with you of a credentialing organization that has adopted automation. But before we do that, Myron's going to take you through a quick walkthrough of the system. Myron? So as you can start to see within Certelligence run through a browser, again, one of the first automated pieces, not having to uh, be at your desk. You can run over the web. You could be working at home. Uh, we're going to take you through a quick view of what your staff are going to be able to see. Talk about that automation. What's going on online with the individual or the organization who's applying for that credential? Uh, what they're able to do as they pass through that phase of taking the exam, becoming approved. Um, what's the process flow that you're dealing with? So that way you start to automate those different communication pieces. And Arjun talked about the maintenance of certification. How do I continue that on with renewals? So we'll take a look uh, uh, about some of those things. But you'll notice within uh, Certelligence, when you first come in, you're gonna see different dashboards, different reports. So you don't have to go out and, and run those yourselves. But if you need to have a report, you can actually subscribe to it so that it's automatically emailed to you on your time frame. So, uh, when we get into an individual's record or even an organization's record, very easy to view what's taking place. Part of that automation that takes place is with integration. Maybe you as a credentialing organization are integrated with a membership system, which can be separate from Certelligence. That's fine, as long as we can read the data, we can read it in real time and give you real-time results or integrate back and give real-time results back to that uh, membership system. Staff no longer have to go searching around or pull up a different database or worksheet or silo of information to find out what's the status of the individual. They can easily click on different details to see that. Or if the individual is already online, they can log in as the individual without having to ask for a username or password and thus compromising security. As we start to take a look at a credentialing program, that a, a, a credentialing journey, whether it's an individual or an organization, you're going to have different statuses that you're starting to manage. And what do you want to happen during those different phases or steps of your program? Who needs to review it? What happens if they reject it? What if there's an audit or it gets selected for an audit or an appeal? Then it has to go into a different workflow. That's all part of the automation of Certelligence.
but we'll take a look online real quick at one of those programs or applications, looking who the individual is, let them update information. They can start to, you, you, you as, a, as a, a, the credentialing organization and in your program can start to collect different types of information uh, and it can have date ranges, drop down lists, radio buttons, ensuring that the data is correct that's being entered. So you want that data integrity, but also being able to upload appropriate documentation or even as Arjun mentioned, integrated with other modules within Certelligence so you can sell study materials or input certain types of information. So you can see that and that helps the individual online who may say, I don't have all the information, I can come back at a later time to complete my application. If we take a look at, uh, at one of our organizations, they have a dashboard so the individual can go online view their different certifications, automation, being able to print off that certificate, uh, verification or anything else that we have for that credentialed individual to view where they're at in the status. Now, as you start to take a look at the program, uh, a lot of organizations have that high stakes exam. They're going through the application pro process to get approved for the exam. There's automation to uh, the, the testing center for the authorization, maybe multiple tests have to be authorized because they have to retake, but what happens with that test results? Well, part of the automation, especially at testing centers is maybe giving you real time results, but also feeding back into that individual's record within Certelligence. So that way, that your customer service staff can view what was done, did they pass or fail in what sections? And then also if they had to take a second exam because maybe they failed the first, we know which exam series they took. We know which exam it was that also gets passed to the testing center so that the person does not give them the same exam again. Now, once that person is now credentialed, they enter into this phase of maintenance of certification or a renewal phase. And it can be multiple years that this takes place where they're really recording different credit units, activities, education that's taking place. So back to this sample, if we take a look at logging CE activities using the submissions and workflow of Certelligence, you can start to manage and let the individual, the certified individual know where they're at in the process, have they met uh, the criteria, what have they entered? But what's nice about this, so each program can have different rules and requirements that have to be met for the, for the individual to move to the next phase of their credentialing journey. If you have different activities that you're collecting and allowing points for such as authoring and they authored an, an article, well, part of the automation is making sure you're collecting the correct information and that the individual is actually self-reporting the right information. So you can go ahead and configure these pages to say, well, I need to know the title of the author material. I need to know if there are any co-authors or co-presenters. Was it peer reviewed? How long did you spend on it? And then upload any supporting documentation or articles or anything else that is required by your organization and your program for that maintenance. If you are integrated with a learning management system, or if you're integrated with another provider, all of that information can be automated to come back into Certelligence under the individual's record. So they do not have to self-report that course that they just took of an approved provider or that course they took with an LMS because they purchased that course. It can bring back the scores, it can bring back the certificate, it can bring back any number of information pieces that you need on that customer record. Now, what we've seen a commonality is the need for proper education and approved providers of education. Whether that's a university who says we offer these five different courses and we want to be approved, whether it's a nonprofit 
who says, <clears throat> we're offering these kinds of workshops and we'd like to be approved for these types of credits, you're going to be able to start to manage that through Certelligence because uh, association, uh, ACGI has developed an approved providers program. So what you'll start to see is providers are going through a certification or even an accreditation of their education courses and their process, allowing them to fill out appropriate information where they're going through and it can be a longer form or shorter form. As they start to fill this out, they may have to come back and submit other information because they didn't have the required codes. You may also have things such as asking for who are the names of the trainers and we need uploading of all this documentation, your syllabi and, and uh, presentations that are filled out. But we also need a payment of an application fee or renewal fee. So as part of the whole program of Certelligence, automating that flow, you no longer have to worry about your credentialing team and managers having to search around for information, having to deal with telephone calls to verify employment, because that can be automated. Verify student as being part of this university because that can be automated and making sure that individuals are inputting the correct information within the applications. So with any credentialing program, it's always important to have your data be legally defensible, helping you maintain that data integrity, whether it's on the front end of just the, the normal application, going for the exam, having exam data come back, or in that maintenance of the certification phase or accreditation phase. So that way you maintain that data integrity and security. And so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back over to Ard so he can take you through the case study. So before I share our case study with you, let's talk about the situation in which automation just may not make sense. It may be reasonable that automation is not needed if the volume and demand won't justify the cost of implementing such technologies, or even the promise of more demand is just not there. These are things that need to be examined. We still also speak with organizations that make excuses for not adopting automation uh, for their certification management programs. And a few reasons, that we hear are they don't trust technologies other than their own homegrown custom systems. We've met some organizations who've built a legacy type system and they just want to hold on to it because they think it, it's the only thing in the world that can manage their business. And, you know, who are we to judge? But for systems like Certelligence, you can configure the system quite a bit. It offers much more than just, you know, providing like a CRM features or just some uh, applications that you can access online. We've also heard the excuse that high touch with their constituents can't be compromised with automation. And so I can appreciate that. And I, I guess that would be on a on a case by case basis. We've heard that it costs too much. Uh, the costs outweigh the benefits. Fundamentally, through online submissions and workflow automation, configuration of business rules, organizations will be able to be much more effective and efficient managing and scaling their certification programs, cutting the costs and generating more revenue. Um, lastly, we hear this excuse every now and then, and they feel that their job security is threatened. The system still needs really smart people to run it. Nonetheless, you will need to determine if the juice is worth the squeeze. We would love to talk with you some more about your programs, understand you know, some of the complexities you may have, and see if Certelligence might be a good fit. But if you look at one of our customers, the Board of Certified Safety Professionals, BCSP, headquartered in Indianapolis, Indiana, they are a 501c6 organization recognized as a leader in credentialing across the board, but in the world of safety, health, and environmental practitioners. So the SH and E uh, industry. They had a paper-based system when we first met them with a combination of spreadsheets and PDFs. 
as their popular program grew for their credentials, they were in a deficit of technologies to manage processes, the sheer volume of submissions and data that they have. A lot of things are just handled man manually. At that time, they were also anticipating launching a ninth certification program, and they were unable to keep up with the demand as it was, uh, which created long response times and you know customer service that could have been better. Their growth would require hiring 30% more full-time staff just to be able to keep up with this added demand in that new program. But since going live five years ago with eight certification programs, they've grown from 27,000 to over 72,000 certificates, about a 300% growth in five years. BCSP will tell you they would not have been able to do this and grow without the use of automation integration and the business intelligence that's found in Certelligence. But the real success story was that they were able to scale up at such a rate and only add three staff in the process. So we hope that we have the opportunity to speak with you to understand a little bit more about what you're doing and how automation can help you be much more effective. I thank you for joining us for the innovation series session today here at Digital Now's 20th anniversary. We've been fortunate to be a premier resource partner with Digital Now starting from day one for the last 20 years. And we look forward to your questions in the next segment. Thank you.